Well, they sent it to me, and I thought, well, you know, I don't know what, this is the Mississippi River. And I just thought, well, I just have to go ahead and write it, and then just say, let them worry about the Mississippi River. And I wrote it, and... Um, because it was written by? William Faulkner. Who which was? Which was intimidating, you know. It was an, I think he won the Nobel Prize by that time. But I thought, well, I just can't help that, and I just got to go ahead and do it. And... Um, so I don't. I wanted Kim, but Kim wasn't available for something. And they asked me about Geraldine, and I said, "Oh, I'd love to work with her." And Sterling Hayden was going to play the old man, the convict, and Frankenheim was going to direct. John Frankenheim. I'd never met him. So they liked the script fine, and uh, I met John Frankenheimer, who was a very dynamic as he is today, and it was a wonderful experience. The only thing was that we were both so devoted to a live television that we decided we were going to do it in live. And uh, we had all this water in the CBS studio, and I understand we cracked the uh, foundations of the studio with all this water. And in the middle of it, Johnny said, Horton, the actors and the crew are going to drown in all this confusion. We cannot do it live. We've got to do it out of sequence. So we did it, put it on tape, and that was one of the first shows that were done on tape. On videotape? On videotape. But unfortunately, it was a success and kind of helped doom, much to my regret, <laughs> live television. But it was a wonderful experience, and uh, it, it had a great success. NBC uh, did it three times that same year. They kept repeating it. So and Geraldine was just, uh, uh, Sterling was wonderful, too. But Geraldine had one of the most harrowing scenes I've ever seen, the birth of the baby. Uh, it was just fantastic. Geraldine Page. Uh-huh, Geraldine Page. 